Hey, jeez! Welcome back to my Macro 7 reactions. We're gonna be watching episode 25 and most likely episode 26 today. And, uh, first of all, I should mention, uh, I've not been coughing for about a week now, and now it's back for some reason. It's really annoying. I have my lozenges ready. Uh, I have not finished this batch in, like, two weeks, which is great. Because I usually finish them in, like, two days. <laughs> Uh, yeah, other than that, be ready for coughing and snorting. <laughs> like that, sorry. Anyways, uh, what happened last time? Last time, uh, kiss. <laughs> Civil kiss Basara and it, they, they exploded. Yup, they exploded. Uh, it's great. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I don't know if Civil even really just likes Basara or there's something about his uh, anima spirit that really is uh, uh, entrancing her. I don't know. Um, other than that, we got, uh, we formed the Sound Force, which is a group of people that are part of the military that are not going to fight, but are going to perform music while they're fighting, which is great, because uh, I've been talking about this, like, when are we gonna get the Marcos Delta stuff, and this is, like, the very first version of it, like, the beta version of it, so, yeah, um, we, it, the Sound Force is basically made out of freaking Fire Bomber, of course it is. Um, and then, uh, they have no teamwork at all. <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite something. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, yeah that's it. So, it's going to be two versions of this reaction video. I'll which you reach a version which you'll find in the description below. The time-based version which you're watching right now. If you want to see a problem with the time-based version, you can do that. And five seconds, I'll bounce and count down for five because that's what they do. And zero is the same thing. My just has to play on my screen. Let me minimize OBS and just check some tail files and all that. Um, I'll just back. Unmute? No, oh, it's already unmuted. Never mind. <laughs> okay, uh, timer will go here. Hi. If you skip the intro bit, I'm coughing again and snorting. It, it wasn't like this for a few days. I don't know why it ba it's back that. If you're watching a AP discussions to the back of YouTube, check us out again. Leave a like on the description channel, take it to patrons. Apparently Basa's voice actor is a pretty famous uh, singer. That makes so much sense. Shoot and stop! When I Zuni Got a melody Oh shit, I go to seven moon Go to moon and Hey Ah, uh, that was fun. Okay, let's go. It's gonna happen next. This is episode 25. Yep. <coughs> I told you, coughing. Oh yeah, the other macro split actually found uh, a habitable planet. I forgot about that part. Yep. Twenty five, okay. Midnight duet, 25. It's making sure. This, this show jumps around the timeline so much that I need to make sure that I'm watching the right episode because I already watched the wrong episode a few times. Like, twice. Not in this show. Different show. Hey, look, a vampire. Oh no, it's actually this guy. 
How are they not noticing these people? This is how the vampires dress. Darn it, Jack. I really don't care for this guy. I don't get him. Like, why is he doing these things? Like, not even what's his motives, what, what is his end goal? Hey, hey! Wow. They're naming it after, wow. Oh, they're together. Oh, that is chaotic as hell. Yeah. That's what I was saying in the intro. Team up. That's not teamwork, dude. <laughs> you really you don't like Bazaar. <laughs> I found it really funny that the freaking Mac not Max, uh, Grim Gamlin. <coughs> he just hates Basara. Oh, the planet that he just found. The other macros. Leap. Now flirt. <laughs> hmm. And they're gonna get attacked. Yay! Attacked and the fights are really boring in the show. <laughs> Sorry, not all of it. Like sixty percent of it. I really don't like that guy. I don't get him. Like, what is he, what is he doing all this for? Oh, that's evil. Founder, I guess. Found her. See, Vivu. Are you just in love with Civil or something? I'm writing on my hand, I'm sorry. It is this one. Oh. Rock.
Sound therapy. Oh yeah, she got possessed by Sybil. Ahiko, that's her name. I called her Ahiko before. Project. What's the project? Okay. Do you? Excuse me. Sorry. I'm sleepy right now. Is it? Okay, what are we doing? Oh, look. dead people. Oh, well, they're not dead, their spirits just taken. She's so understanding. She gotta go by herself? No. What are you gonna do? Milen? <laughs> oh, I was holiday. Nice. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, fell. Oh, but sorry. Yo! <laughs> In this girl, hi! <laughs> if this do it fails! <laughs> it's a win-win! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's great. Wow. Wow. Oh my god! Robot flirting. <laughs> That's cute. No. <laughs> uh, it's a spirit shop for you, civil.
Oh, that's interesting. That's the first time I said that's interesting for this guy. He doesn't care for himself, he likes civil way too much. Oh wait, that's interesting. See, that's what you need to introduce me for this guy with. Because so far, I'm just bored of him. Like, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna get civil. That's boring for me. No, it's like that, it's a lot more interesting, okay. It's becoming interesting now. I'm starting to like giggle. It took like 25 episodes. <laughs> what? 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 That was awful. There's a, I don't know what that is, a siren going on inside. Oh yeah, he did tell about it. Sorry, I'm really sleepy right now. Ray just plans ahead, I don't believe that. I like Bowser's voice more. Fits their punk elements more. Yeah. No, I think Bowser's better, to be honest. Boom! Sure. Uh <clears throat> doesn't want that. Huh? Boom miss house. Oh no. <laughs> no, that's a kiss. I was too late with that kiss. Miss house. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> She's still gonna get. I uh, she... Really? Really? I really want her to be able to give the flowers at some point. Oh, 
all my friends. There we go. And you miss. There we go. Major seven, let's go. Stand up, be the one to know your life. Oh, wow. You did destroy that. Okay. Open your eyes, or you need to fly this thing. Everybody! Dancing on the planet, dance! The more I sing, the worse my cough gets. No more wasting love. That was actually an interesting fight. That was one of the 40% that are really cool fights. Are we in locks? Yeah, I think we're in locks. Yeah. They're dead! Everyone's dead! <laughs> They're dead. There's something deadly in the plant in the song of this episode. Okay. Uh, last time, when we were watching the outro bit, I actually ended up watching the entire ED because according to VLC, there's like three minutes left. And I was like, oh, maybe there's something at the end. And apparently VLC is messing around because after the AED, there was literally nothing else. It was just black and then it's reset to the very beginning. <laughs> Anyways, uh, my camera's lagging. Give me a moment. Hello! Oh, that's fair. Um, <laughs> my camera was lagging for some reason, I don't know why. Um, okay, let's talk about this. Um, okay, get a little bit of what's happening. I just want to talk about this for a bit because is this or is this not a pothole? <laughs> because they are not being noticed <clears throat> by certain people. 
Is it just because uh, the people that they take the spiritual off are in a comatose state that they just no one really knows what the vampires look like, or are the people really that stupid and uh, they just didn't figure out that these are the vampires even though they're wearing the exact outfits that all the vampires wear? Ah, I don't know if that's a plot hole or not, so let's just leave it at that. It's it, it, it doesn't really take away from anything, so it's okay. I want to talk about Giggle for a second. Um, Giggle interests me in this episode because he hasn't interested me in basically every other episode. I don't like characters that always go, I just want to fight and I just want to do this thing because Rick um, just wants to fight and it's not really interesting. <laughs> Um, I think, I think he became a lot more interesting in this episode. Um, I think he started to be interesting with Civil, the introduction of Civil, and how obsessed we, he is with her. But I, I, I don't know if it's just like, I don't know, uh, if it's literally just he's falling in love with Civil, like there's a connection between that, or if there's something where, um, I don't know what kind of relationship he has with Civil. But it, it did start to be kind of interesting because now he has like proper motives, proper like uh, conviction for what he's doing. But he, but back then he would still go around the, 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 the Macro 7 and go, okay, we're gonna fight. And those fights are boring. So I'm just gonna be honest, those fights are boring. Like 60% of the fights are, I, I don't even know, if that, that's not an accurate number. I'm just throwing numbers out there that are close enough. But uh, the fights that are with Giggle just that are started by Giggle are just kind of boring to me because it's usually just okay we're gonna fight and we're gonna kill him we're gonna get spiritual but we're not serving under Gepel Nepal Church Church because we're gonna be uh, we're gonna do this for ourselves and I'm gonna do it for civil it's it's not really that interesting to me because I don't know he's I don't get him like I don't get him but now first off we learned that they need spiritual to survive so that's interesting. So, in the same way that, um, ah, okay, this is a cool little thought experiment to have. Um, what if we um, encounter alien life at some point and we made contact with alien life? And they are far smarter and far more advanced than us. And then they realize that for us to live, we need to consume life. Like, we need to eat animals, we need to eat plants, and to them, that's just barbaric. Like, they would think of us as barbarians. Like, we're gonna be, we're gonna be awful towards them. <laughs> so, what if this is a similar thing where, in a similar vein of how we need to kill animals and plants to survive, the whatever i forgot what they're called the the, the whatever uh are they actually mentioned what the race are the aliens that are attacking us anyways those guys um what if they just need spiritia to survive and they can't really get spiritia from their home planet because they need like advanced beings to get spiritia from because it's uh spiritual willpower right so they need creatures that have uh, a consciousness <laughs> So, what if it's similar to that where they're looking at us uh, in a very condescending way because we kill animals to survive, but to them, we just they just need to take like a life, not like uh, uh, spiritual energy to survive. So yeah, I don't know. So yeah, that's cool. They, they need to do that. That's really neat. Um, so yeah, and apparently, Giggle doesn't really care about his own spiritual now that... Um, he, he really wants to save it for civil, so that's interesting. Uh, first sense of selflessness coming from Giggle, so that's interesting because you know anytime, anytime, anytime there is a sense of good within a villain or like an antagonistic and and not an entity but uh, antagonistic character, uh, it's always interesting. Like if there's like selflessness, there's like virtues within them that are. Like uh, not really, not really uh, uh, similar to the whole "I'm gonna fight and I'm gonna kill them" kind of attitude that Giggle always has. To tell you about that, we need to check something. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, um, 
Okay, so they're training with their uh, formations. That's interesting. And they're naming the formations after keys. Yeah, keys. Uh, I've not touched music theory in over a decade. <laughs> I've not touched my guitar in like six years. <laughs> uh, uh, I touched it, but I didn't play it in a long time. Of course, you know what I mean. Uh, the whole thing of giggle, uh, not following Kipunitsa's orders. At first, I was just like, okay, he's that kind of character, I guess. But now it's becoming more interesting because um, he's he's uh, putting his mm, personal intentions first. Um, whenever there's like a military esque kind of character or just group, and one of the characters break away from the order of command for the sake of their own agenda. That's always interesting, like no matter what happens, so I do like that. But what I didn't like was I still didn't get him at first, so I'm kind of getting him that it's just really, really like Civil, and he probably will not like the fact that Civil seems to really, really like Basara, because he hates Basara. You know what? That's kind of funny. <laughs> Milen also kind of likes Basara, and freaking, freaking Gamlin hates Basara. That's great. And then there's Sibyl that kinda likes Basara. And then there's freaking Giggle that hates Basara. It's kinda funny. Uh, the, inter the, the social web that is being formed right now is really funny. <laughs> Not really funny, but ironic. Like, yeah. I wonder when Gamlin just went and said that I'm really getting to rock music. I wonder if that's just him being a guy and being like, I need to show interest in her interest so that she would like me. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me you haven't done that. <laughs> you, you're a guy. Sometimes girls do it too. You probably done that. <laughs> but usually guys, usually guys. Um, I do enjoy the whole interaction between Ray and Akiko being a thing where, wow, you seem normal again. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, because Aiko was being very weird back then because of Civil. Like we're putting Basara together with us. I do like her plan of if this works if this doesn't work out, then uh then freaking Sound Force would probably be better for it. Because they, he would realize that uh Milen is a better do it partner for him. Or but if this works out, we're gonna get a really good single out of it and we're gonna make a lot of money. <laughs> it's a win-win! Yay! Okay, um, I do enjoy the. This is some. They're, they're cute, but I enjoy Milen. I don't know. Milen's cute. I think Alice is pretty, but still. It could threaten your life. Okay, I talked about that. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's keep going. Being out unprecedented regions. That's interesting that uh, it's not just music or just culture or. Uh, it's basically anything that gives you like a sense of spiritual like life like it gives you life basically um yeah that's, that is interesting so them flirting gives rise to more spiritual or purer spiritual that's kind of interesting so probably government shots plan involves um Getting a bunch of humans together, getting them to get along really well, making them listen to good music, and then making sure that whenever they need it, they would just take them out. Like, again, it's a whole analogy for how we treat animals. Like, I'm definitely not against, I'm, I'm not vegan, I'm not against, uh, um, I'm not against killing animals for the sake of consumption. If anything, I'd say that. I'd say I I've killed a chicken before. That's pretty much all I can. I've killed a chicken before. <laughs> um, for, for food. <laughs> I think that um, there's a sense where you have to respect the life that you're taking. And yeah. But it's kind of similar to the whole concept. That whole concept like we're going to race them and then we're going to take their spirit out. We're going to race them and then we're going to eat them. So I think it's very similar to that. 
and since it feels and since it's like an alien entity they might think that oh we're probably better than them because that's what humans think right if a certain if an animal that we eat suddenly started speaking their mind and actually had a mind that can properly conceptualize the situation that they're in we would probably start to really think our loss about what animals we can kill for sake of for the sake of consumption so yeah but if they are a lot beneath us which i think is government's plan is involves the idea that she probably thinks that humans are beneath them so yeah they would probably do the same thing about farming them so that makes sense i do like that i, I like that hey uh this little conversation between milen and gamle where they would talk about um how milen's voice is more pleasant just makes me think that freaking gamlin is not that into rock yet because freaking vasar's voice is better like i like milen's voice don't get me wrong but vasar's voice just fit the whole punk rock aesthetic really really well and i kind of get the whole idea of uh considering uh like rock or metal even like metal is like another level yeah, i listen to metal like don't get me wrong but um like some people would consider them ugly sounding like if you will because i to a certain to a certain extent i agree because a lot of the time rock and more specifically metal involves um involves lyrics and emotions that are not very pretty like anger or, or sadness and whenever you try to express those emotions they don't come out as freaking moonlight sonata <laughs> they come out as anger and sadness and it's gonna sound really ugly and that's supposed to not be pleasant it's supposed to be cathartic Hey, yeah, I spat. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's supposed to be cathartic, not huh? pleasant. So, yeah, I kind of get where he where he's coming from. Um, I think I'm done. The fight, the fight, the fight, and they're they're working really well together now. Yay! And we're done. And we're at Planet Locks, and we can't contact Marcus Five. That sucks. Yay! Okay, uh, we're gonna go episode twenty six, and I'm just gonna go drink my meds because uh, I I take medicine. I did some maintenance stuff for myself. And then we're gonna watch episode 26. Be right back. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, we're gonna do this. Uh, 26? 26, okay. Timer will go here. Alright, okay, opening. Uh, fun. I'm just gonna write down episode 26. That's good. Da da. Masahi no panorama. Highway ni ageru da. Ue no, ue no. Shoot the star. Urenai Asugi I hope Wound That hurts Oshiyate kuru seven moon Kone moon e yaru na 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 Yeah, good lyrics, Chase Let's see what happens next. Na 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 na
Yes, I did. That matchup, line it locks. And that like is a, is a, has red text. So you know, it's serious. <laughs> she gotta join him. I'll bring it up, Bahida. <laughs> I like that uh, Gubala also has a helmet. Eh? <laughs> you know, Ah, oh, no. We're gonna get in trouble. We could record Marshall. Oh, no. Hey, Tim. Is he better? I forgot your name, but are you better? Kidding you. That's the same. No kiss, sorry. Yaoi vision. Oh, isn't he popular? No, no surprise there. Great. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I saw that st stuff. Um, ruins. Uh, lo those look like ships. Those guys are dead. Very dead.
Ah, oh, what's gonna happen? Marvel Five contacted. He's shaking. He's so scared. What? Oh, interesting. That's a good point. Oh! That's kind of scary. That is very scary. Um, what are we gonna do? Oh no. <laughs> uh, that's great. Can't talk to her right now. It's a very slow episode again. As a bombardment. It's your boss. Get Pelnichi. It's also a part of Devlin. Dang, dang, dang. Uh, I was early. <laughs> Get Pelnichi. Oh, 
I like the music right now. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, transformation. Whoa! I the music's really good. Uh, it's cool. Mm. And then I love heart. This is a good fight. Second one, this ep this recording. That's really good. Why? He's not half naked. Great. Nice! Nice! <laughs> this is great! <laughs> Just immediately! You can't fight yet! I, uh, we should do this! I uh, can- yeah, sure! <laughs> Basically what I do with, her name, with his name. Speak of Padgama! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hey, this is good! 
Shoot the whatever gamma. Whoa! Saw a hit. Our Kinryu dies here. And I'm hot. Na 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 na. Lord is in the hot. Oh wow! Good job. Okay. <laughs> This is so good! <laughs> nice! Is he dead? Did he sacrifice himself? For that? Did he sacrifice himself for that? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, he looks like a girl. What do you mean this a boy? <laughs> I want a speaker like that. Party night! Whoa, what is that? What is going whoa, 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 what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Fire! Whoa! Let's destroy the line of them. Nice! He seems to enjoy that. What? 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 What was that? What spirit are dreaming? Hey, please tell me Kinryu is, is okay. Oh no, he's not okay. Never mind. It's not okay. Never mind. Uh a very chilling song. Hmm. That's sad. Oh, wow. That's even sadder. Okay. Wow. <laughs> it's her.
So on this episode, oh, can you stand? Uh, I'm gonna correct myself <laughs> because I was talking about like uh, how ugly a certain sounds are when you're singing. I do not mean that uh, it is very similar. To, it's uh, it's what um, it's what Basra was doing. I think it's similar to what Basra is doing, where it's a lot grittier the voice that he does for his singing. So similar to that, but it's not really like anger or stuff like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> but those things fit a lot better. In those kinds of songs, so I don't know. Tangents aside, um, freaking Basara and Milen just being troublemakers. They might get court martial. Then this freaking mass just like ah oh, frick. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Um, a Basara song. I <laughs> um, one of my favorite things about Gamlin. Is the fact that he just can't, for the life of him, believe that their songs are making a difference. Because when you think about it, it's not very believable. Just saying, it's not very believable. <laughs> so, him being skeptical makes so much sense. If anything, he makes the most sense compared to people that actually think they're making a change. He makes more sense than those people. <laughs> I quite like it. Um, also the fact that he hates Bathra makes it even funnier. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's just funny to me. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Uh, I do like that we actually set a bunch of death flags for King Ryu, but I didn't immediately caught up, catch on to it because I thought he was gonna be more, I don't know, um, what's the word known for? More involved in the story for a while because he finally got back into fighting shape, sort of. So, I kind of expected him to fight a few more battles before dying, and this is like a setup for that. No, we're just gonna kill him almost immediately. So, that's sad. That's really sad. Um, um, let's keep going. I do, I do think that this place is pretty. I w what is up? So, something about mind control. So, that's sad. That's, that's scary, not sad. Freaking about the- freaking out about the Proto Devilin. So, is Gepelin the chief? Uh, a proto javelin? Maybe, I don't know. Freaking Milen being terrified because of this makes so much sense, yet at the same time, I kind of have. I kind of feel annoyed at it. I don't know. Um, Milen wanting to. I, I guess that makes perfect sense now that I think about it. No, no, okay, I'm not annoyed anymore. Uh, it's just the idea that he, she wants to be part of the fight, she wants to always be be proactive but at the same time she's easily spooked by this kind of stuff which is gonna be something she's gonna see a few more times over and over again a lot more times there's a few more times when uh now that she's part of the military so uh, how is she gonna handle that i don't know at some point maybe she just kind of accepts it <laughs> she just kind of grow grows into it <laughs> that should ruin the scenery uh, I want to go to this part. this part. Why the city blocks are missing? What did it mean? It's possible that they were taken captive. The crew of Macros Five could have been taken captive, and are under mind control, serving as soldiers. It's like ah, uh, makes sense. Okay, 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 that makes sense. I was wondering about the name. I missed this line. I only read part of it, so that makes sense. The the guy that uh, they they got that was being mind controlled and that was uh, cured through music and it's great. Then you're supposed to leave soon. Okay, okay. And then fight. I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. First half of the episode kind of slow, kind of slow, but it did pay off in the end because the latter half was so good. Like probably the best fight sequence we got in the show so far. Um, Basara being <laughs> genuinely trying to cheer uh, Milen up is quite cute. <laughs> Milen, look at the flock of birds, aren't they great? <laughs> Before I am Gotonich's. <laughs> The stage has finally been set to fulfill my dreams of samples. And actually, this guy goes. 
photo devilin. So I don't know if uh, Gipham Nish is actually a photo devilin. Um, let me go around this green door. Okay, good song. The entire sequence of the battle was really fun. Nothing too crazy in terms of animation, but this just the whole. It reminds me of the the end, if you will, not really the end, but you know the climax of uh, Super Dimension Fortress Macros, where uh, freaking what's her name? What is her name? M. Sorry for not M. I can't remember her name. Wow. Kyun 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 Watashi no Sareda Kailoto That girl M M Minmei Minmei There we go Lin Minmei Um Lin Minmei singing while there's a lot of craziness going on Except that one actually has better animation this scene Than this entire sequence I've just seen Um But yeah Let me check my notes Um uh, Okay, cool. Uh, we're gonna, he's gonna fight and he has a really cool uh, little tarry. The entire sequence is fun. I do want one of these things. <laughs> I just want one of these things. I'm gonna I'm gonna burst a hole into my neighbor's uh into my neighbor's house and just start playing music through it. <laughs> this entire sequence is fun. And he's dead. He, he's pretty. He's pretty. What is spiritual dreaming? I don't know. It looks like it, they use the same effect for when uh, they were absorbing spiritual. So maybe that's related to that. But it doesn't seem like she actually absorbed any spiritual. They just retreated. And she, 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 he seems very interested in Vasa as well. Doesn't look like a proto devil. Doesn't have the features that uh, freaking Sybil had. Huh. Interesting. Gable Nietzsche just not caring about Giggle's life is uh... Uh, it's interesting. It's like uh... He's putting his... I'm pretty sure it's a dude because of one of the subtitle things they just later on notes. I'm pretty sure uh... It's a... It's a weird mode for He's... Being very... <sighs> he's, he's focusing on his goal right now, like his dream of um, getting a spiritual farm. I already talked about what I think of the spiritual farm concept, which I think is really cool. Um, Sound Forest helps, and it's really cool that um, they actually help quite a bit. I like that. Um, other than that, anything else? Um, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Um, Cool stuff, cool beans. Um, my brain is not working anymore. I need to record a few more videos today. They're gonna be short, it's okay. Uh, I think I'm good. So, that is it for me now. If you wanna see like that, with action and discussion, go ahead and go. Also, do that video below. We'll have out about impact. Yeah, don't forget to welcome the help channel. Also, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Also, find out Bye!